Yes, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Goals Bible. Chelsea 2, Everton 2. Everton came from behind twice to earn a 2-2 draw with Chelsea. The Blues dominated the first half uh, without actually finding a breakthrough. It was actually Jaw Felix that eventually broke down or uh, broke the deadlock early in the second half when he lashed on to uh, Kane's poor deflection and rolled it, his low shot into the bottom of the corner. That was a good finish by Jaw Felix. Uh, the coyest equalizer was given by a goal line technology after Havertz actually cleared it off his line out of the goal. And uh, the German obviously restored Chelsea's lead from the spot after James was actually fouled by Tarkovsky. But look, Chelsea dropped another massive two points. Another massive two points. Uh, Simmons then came off off the bench he came actually off the bench to actually score that his first goal for Everton and picked um out the bottom corner late on in the game 92 or 93 minutes in I mean that was just so disappointing for Chelsea to to concede that really uh but anyways I mean the point now moves Everton back up into 15th uh two points clear of the drop zone uh they host Tottenham Next time out after the international break, Chelsea move above Aston Villa in 10th. With that point, you're looking at the table here. Uh, they couldn't continue their winning run, obviously. It's Villa that they will face next in two weeks' time. So this is the international break is coming up now. So they just need to focus on uh, how they can catch that momentum. Really, really disappointing result for Chelsea. 38 points there. They're 10th, they're as, I, 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 as you can see here. Uh, they're trying to close the gap on top four, but they're lucky that Tottenham have dropped points today as well because if, if actually Tottenham have won their game, the gap actually could have been a lot bigger. But now the gap is, is like nine points, nine, eight points. So... Plus, they have a game in hand, so definitely they could still probably catch Tottenham, but not a good, not 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 a good result for Chelsea. Massive, massive disappointment for Graham Potter and his team. They should have done better, I think. After they after getting a lead, they 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 thought they just secured a win. They got comfortable for some reason. You can never be comfortable in the Premier League. One goal lead or two goal lead. Is not a comfortable situation in the Premier League. You have to play to the whistle. You have to play until the whistle is blown. And they made a mistake today. And they paid for it. They paid for it. They dropped two points. Uh, yeah, man of the match for this match. I was going to give it to Joe Felix. I don't know. He could still get it. I thought he was bright in the first half. And that finish in the second half as well was outstanding from him. I'm not quite sure how Atletico Madrid actually let go of a player with that kind of caliber uh, on loan for Chelsea. He is an outstanding player and he is showing it. He's showing a game in, game out now. Uh, it's good to see him shine. It's good to see, uh, see him shine. He's he's one of the best players uh, in that position. But yeah, people, who do you think is your man of the match? Who was your favorite player in this match? Do let me know in the comment sections as well. Do you think Grand Potter should be trusted in this whatever this is i mean this process i mean he keeps he's trying to make progress but he keeps falling down it's like he takes one step forward and then two step backward and this is another result that can dampen his chance of staying in the job but do let me know in the comment sections what you guys think about grand potter as well is he the right manager for chelsea let me know in the comment sections but yeah people Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you smash a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new to the channel. But I'll see you in the next video. Peace.